They're going to do exactly the same as I've been doing. Let's see here what's going to happen here, okay? I want you guys to tell me, okay? Let's see, they're playing around. They're doing exactly the same. Go. There it is. Right. Go a little bit to the center over here, please, Arthur. Right here, please. Start from the close guard. Close guard. Okay. Good. All right. Keep on going. She's trying to break the posture. We're going to go Parker. Let's go, Matthew. One, two. Take your time, Matthew. Yeah, there it is. Good. Playing with the balance, excellent, okay. Come all the way up, beautiful. Now she's gonna do the drag. All right, at this point now here, Matthew, he has the, the luxury, uh, which is the frames, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. All right, so here's the thing now. Let's see what Arthur's gonna do from there. Keep on going, Arthur, keep on going, Matthew, please. All right, she won't let him make a four points of connection. She went to the other side. Now understand that now he has to do again and then she's gonna try again. Keep on going, Arthur. Two, Matthew, he has to find a way. Keep on going, keep on going. Find a way to make a four point off. Contact or connection. And then now, uh, Arthur, from there, hold, hold her sleeves, hold tight. Now try, Arthur. Try, try to do the passage just there. It's hard, and then now, in the meantime, you can close guard, Matthew. Perfect. Is that make sense to everybody? It's just a concept for you guys to understand. Every time you're playing guard, you need the four points of contact or connection. Uh, Fabio has already the tripod swip. Go for five, please, here, there. All right, so this is going to happen. Uh, go ahead, Fabio, tripod swip me. It's going to happen. So now, what's going to happen now here, as soon as, go ahead, Fabio, one more time. I do it one time. Go ahead, swip me. Okay, I do it. Now, go ahead, Fabio. He has, He's gonna hook my leg. But now, Fabi, he knows that. I know how to defend it. He needs to do what? Yeah, adapt and play with my balance. Yeah, so he has to confuse me. Sometimes he pulls me, sometimes he's push me, sometimes he pulls me, and then when he goes, go for it. Oh, I time it. Okay, he has to, there it is. Now he has to time it, yeah? So I go, I time it, okay, did it work. There it is, try. Oh, it didn't work, there, there it is. That was beautiful. But that is the, the, see, that's the game. It becomes a game. I try it, I try it. He was thinking, thinking. And when I dropped my foot, he went for the tripod swip. That's what I want you guys to understand that, to not get frustrated because the technique sometimes will work or sometimes it's not gonna work. But you have to give a credit to your partner as well because your partner did such a good job by defending. But what do we do? No problem, we just reset. We reset the position again, get the, the, the exact way Fab just did, play with your partner's balance and timing. It's timing. You gotta understand that sooner or later it's timing. It's all about timing. Are you guys following me? Yeah? And pick one thing that it's important that we're, we're going to understand for the philosophy of Jiu-Jitsu. Most of the time we're not going to get what we want the time we want. See, if I was trying, it didn't work. Let's try if he was patient. He was patient, patient, until he played with my balance. Okay, that's the time. And he went for this way. Does that make sense everybody? Yes or no? 